Hey folks, Crazy Marty here. Today we're going to go over the a review on a JTS Comp 1 air compressor for PCP air guns. This is made by JTS. It's basically a rebranded Chinese one that's out there, I think. Uh, is there something different that they've done internally in this one? Possibly. But mostly, I, as far as I can tell, it's just a rebranded Chinese one with a little bit different marketing because they say, oh, it's maintenance-free. Maintenance-free. Um, the first thing that you're going to notice when you get this thing, A, is, you know, yeah, it's really nice looking and, and whatever because it's black. Everything that's black is always good looking, I guess. Uh, it has a very relatively short hose. Uh, I would imagine there is a... Uh, an air water separator system built in and it's hidden inside the box. I have to take it apart to find out. But one thing you're going to find is that the quick disconnect fittings that you get, these will not work on your FX impact or your FX air guns because it's too large a diameter than the FX one. Well, you think, oh, okay, well, that's not a problem. Just take it. Remove, remove their fitting and put the FX in its place. Well, the problem that we run into next is that FX uses a British standard parallel pipe thread, which pretty much everybody in the industry for air guns does. But what they're using is a 10 millimeter by one millimeter thread. So <laughs> let me show you. So uh, yeah, there, there's, there's just a slight bit of difference in uh, how long it is and also the thread, the thread types. The threads are completely different. Uh, the, it's some proprietary. And then if you take their their plug, which fits nice and tight inside of theirs, and you stick it into the fitting here, it's loose. So it goes, it would leak air. That's even if you get this thing to, even if you get this thing to attach to their hose. And you can't because there is no such animal that goes from 10 by 1 millimeter thread to the British standard parallel pipe. So there's problem number one that I've come across so far. Now it's time to dig deeper into this thing and see what kind of junk is inside of it. I mean, I haven't even had a chance to put... Oh, and when you call up JTS and you ask them for uh, the tech support people... Or whoever down there to ask them about you know questions about your compressor one question I asked him I said how many amps does the motor draw and his answer was that's a hummingbird and his answer was I don't know so yeah it's already starting out pretty bad you know you think you get something halfway decent and uh, you, they don't even know how many amps the motor draws they did say though that the crankshaft does have a sealed roller bearing on there which was you know when you live in a trailer and you're full-time mobile having oil leaking out of things like this is not really a good idea and since they said it's maintenance free then why would they include instructions on how to take apart the uh, cylinder head and then they include a big long metal rod some cheap chinesium wrenches some allen wrenches and a spark plug tool so to talk with these guys and for them not even to know how many amps their motor draws uh that's kind of a bad sign i guess so i guess i'm gonna have to take the readings myself to find out how many amps it draws and let's see what's inside to see if this thing even does have an air water separator or what's even in it. Above the top, you see it does have a, that's a very nice aluminum block head. Uh, it does give you a, a butt plug of a filter right there. I guess that's the intake. So it's just a chunk of stuff stuck in there. They, on their website and their YouTube channel, their claim to fame is, is, oh, we have a specialized air filtrate, air fan that cools stuff, all right? All this does is take air from outside and blow it inside of the crankcase. So you can actually see the crank bearing in there and the, and the, the piston rod. 
So I would imagine they're using this air to try to help cool the underside of the piston. And then the air blows out somewhere, oh, who knows where. The air fan up here just blows on the one side of the head. They don't have any shroud or anything like that to, you know, help direct the air all the way around the head like you would think they would do. Like you would even, like you see on a Briggs and a Stratton. Um, I think this is like a, this is a secondary pop-off right there in case you overpressurize or something. Then the air flows from the primary pumping area down to the secondary area. And then it comes down, it goes through a tube that is, the fan blows air on the tube. And then it goes into this here, which runs up into your desiccant and stuff right there where your manual shutoff valve is. Is it any better than the other stuff that's out there? I don't think so. Because I know that I've already come across screws that are, when they put them in the case, they just, and stripped them out. So that's kind of a bad deal. There's a resistor, or not a resistor, but a diode that's pretty much exposed down there on the wiring down there. Um... Yeah, it is what it is. So this is basically another Chinese knockoff. And oh, if you if you if you're able to get in there to see the 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 QR code and it lights up, uh, it gives you this information. So here it is with the top back on. Like I said, I decided to go around and check screws to see which ones are, you know, and that's, I never, it's, that one's stripped. That one's stripped. That one tightens up. That one's tight. So yeah, you know, I, you'd think that they would at least take and, and put like nut certs in here and then use Allen wrench screws or, you know, have nut certs in there. So that way you can tighten the stuff up. Because you got to lift and carry the thing by the case. At least, I think all but one screw over here is tight. It's, yeah, so there's two there that are... It's like, really, guys? Okay, so there you have what's inside of the JTS Chinese compressor. Uh, according to the tag that's inside there, the... QR code, once I got it pulled out, it took me to this cute little web page thing that says, oh, your quality is such and such. And it's a 250 watt motor, which when you take and you run that over to 12 volts DC, you're gonna be pulling right around 21 amps of power out of your battery. So 21 amps of power is around 250 watts or 221 uh, million milliamps. So uh, that's what this thing is. It's basically another Chinese knockoff with a hole inside of the crankcase and a fan. Crazy Marty. Bye-bye. Now for those of you that may or may not know this little shoestring that they put on these hoses, they're actually not just to hold the, the thing up on the back. You actually use that around something solid on the gun. So that way if the NP shoots out, it doesn't whack you into pee-pee.